poison ivy. Dr. Pamela Lillian Isley was a botanist who led a secret life as the eco-terrorist Poison Ivy. Unlike most of Batman's rogues, she had little interest in money or power unless she needed them, instead being obsessed with preserving plant life and taking revenge on those who she believed had harmed it. Her ruthless methods frequently landed her in Arkham Asylum. Poison Ivy is an enigmatic and sensual eco-terrorist with plant-based plants and powers. The frequent partner and of Harley Quinn, she was also a frequent enemy of the Batman. History Pamela Lillian Isley, once a brilliant botanist, turned to a life of crime when Harvey Dent and Bruce Wayne destroyed the habitat of a rare plant in order to build Stonegate Penitentiary. She dated Dent so she could get close enough to poison him. However, her plan failed, she was taken to the same prison she hated, and Dent really hated her afterwards. Ivy was later transferred to Arkham Asylum. After she escaped Arkham, Poison Ivy created a chemical serum that would transform a human being into a tree. She devised a plan to transform any citizen who had committed crimes against plants and forests and Bruce Wayne was among them. Alfred Pennyworth was attacked instead and before the transformation was completed, Batman stopped Ivy and cured all of Ivy's victims. Ivy was not found afterwards. Eventually, Ivy returned to crime and when she tried to steal from the Gotham Museum, she came across Harley Quinn, who had the same idea. The two ladies struck a quick friendship and started a large criminal spree, until they were stopped by Officer Rene Montoya and were taken back to Arkham. Origins Holding a PhD in botany from Gotham University, Pamela Isley was once employed by Shea Girard, a cosmetics firm, as a research chemist in charge of developing new perfumes. She also offered a weekly lecture series at the university on rare and extinct plant species. At some point, Pamela dated district attorney, Harvey Dent, who was taken with her. Unbeknownst to him, she had marked him as a murderer for his part in arranging the excavation of land for the future site of Stonegate Penitentiary. The excavation had involved bulldozing a field of wildflowers, including a rare wild rose that would have gone extinct had she not saved it first. Appropriately, she used extract from the rose to create a rare and deadly poison, which she administered to Dent through a deep kiss. He fell into a coma and was not expected to live. A personal friend of Dent's, Bruce Wayne, investigated the crime as Batman. Discovering the origin of the poison, Batman confronted Isley, who now called herself Poison Ivy. In the ensuing struggle, Batman captured the Rose as a hostage, forcing Ivy to surrender the antidote she had developed. He managed to save Harvey's life, and Ivy was imprisoned in Stonegate. She was later transferred to Arkham Asylum. Months later, having escaped or been released, Ivy opened an all-natural resort spa outside Gotham under the alias Dr. Daphne Demeter. The Eternal Youth Spa was a bait through which Ivy attracted wealthy businessmen and women guilty of certain environmental crimes, and treated them with plant-derived toxins, which transformed the people into plants themselves. By unfortunate coincidence, a greedy Wayne Enterprises executive had made a deal with a South American company to level a section of the Amazon rainforest, before Bruce aborted it. Ivy targeted Bruce for his perceived part in the deal, and Alfred Pennyworth attended in Bruce's place for a free spa getaway. When Alfred disappeared, Batman quickly deduced the doctor's true identity and stopped Ivy's plan yet again. Ivy developed a fierce feud with the Joker, at least one fight being over a channel to watch in Arkham Asylum's rec room. After another escape, Ivy was arrested at the stacked deck over a poker game with Joker, Penguin, and Two-Face. Before the game, she exchanged a few amused reminiscences with her old flame, Harvey Dent, the amusement was entirely one-sided. A chance meeting during a heist at the Gotham Museum sparked one of Poison Ivy's most unique relationships. Harley Quinn, recently evicted from the Joker's gang, helped Ivy escape the clutches of the Gotham Police Department. Though the personalities of the two seemed completely opposite, their, somewhat, common goals bonded them into a formidable duo. Harley seemed to thrive on the experience of an honestly affectionate partner, while Ivy admired Harley's streak of fun and ingenuity, though she was exasperated by Harley's unshakable devotion to that psychotic creep, Joker. Shortly after uniting, they took Gotham by storm with a crime spree. Dubbed the new queens of crime, their actions went unstopped for a long time. Despite his best efforts, Batman was unable to capture the two damsels, and only after their home was destroyed by the Joker were they captured by Rene Montoya. Still, the bond had been forged. Unlike most villain team-ups, Harley and Ivy seemed to have a genuine friendship, as each helped the other with problems, be they personal or other. Months passed, and for the first time, Ivy seemed to have returned to a normal life. Released from Arkham, Pamela Isley moved away from Gotham, married her psychiatrist, and embraced his two children as her own. Despite strange plant-related occurrences occurring, Batman and Robin were unable to link any connection to Isley. Unfortunately, Ivy had merely fooled the Dark Knight and Boy Wonder. 
creating plant monsters to act as clones of her family, Ivy had not only created a legitimate front for her activities, but also made a small drone factory. Though Batman and Robin once again foiled her plans, Ivy escaped. After failing to meet the psychological requirements for rehabilitation, Ivy returned to Arkham and was present for the trial of Batman. She acted as a juror and as a witness, testifying towards Batman's involvement in her turning to crime. Later Career in Crime Though each pursued their own area of interest, it was not uncommon for the Ivy and Harley to team up, share a hideout, or rendezvous for the holidays. When Livewire was transferred to Gotham for further psychiatric treatment, a brief and unlikely trio formed. Though they initially subdued the two with certain ease, the combined forces of Batgirl and Supergirl proved too much for the electric charge trio given their lack of coordination, as Livewire's lightning almost burned Ivy's plants, so she stopped to fight to save them. Ivy and Harley had many other capers, including various robberies, some holiday fun, and occasional turmoil amongst themselves. Throughout this time, however, their relationship nurtured, and it seemed the two fostered a general care for one another. At one point, the men of Gotham disappeared altogether. Ever the opportunists, the two raided the Gotham Police Department's Special Crimes Dangerous Evidence Vault, stealing items from various villains including the Penguin, the Joker, and Mr. Freeze. The two fled to the Gotham Monastery, Batgirl and Catwoman, who was the prime suspect in the men's disappearance, attempted to reason with the two, but Harley accidentally discovered the true cause of the male disappearance, a weapon designed by Mr. Freeze. Rene Montoya and the GPD arrived to arrest the women. Harley and Ivy escaped, but were branded accomplices in Catwoman's supposed crime. Gotham went into a hard lockdown, but eventually, the four women united. Donning a Batgirl outfit, Poison Ivy broke into a warehouse in Gotham's West District. Unmasked, she managed to evade capture long enough for Batgirl to discover the true cause of the disappearances, Dora Smithy. After the mystery was resolved, Harley convinced Catwoman and Poison Ivy to turn themselves in, as they had promised to Batgirl. However, they made no assurances that they'd stay captured, and the three escaped. Eventually, Ivy found herself lacking in funds. Trying to gain more foundings, Ivy created perfect mates for rich socialites, who would then kill their spouses and inherit their fortunes. Between her creations was Susan McGuire, who married Bruce Wayne. Although Tim Drake and Barbara Gordon were happy for Bruce, Dick Grayson remained suspicious of Susan and completely disbelieved that Bruce would be capable of giving up his life as Batman. Due to this, though unknown to her, Bruce nearly gave up his Batman identity until Batgirl and Robin discovered the truth and figured a way to kill her plant's creatures. These events later resulted into a fight with Batman and his partners in the honeymoon, which happened in a luxurious boat, before sinking into the ocean and dies. Later in the Gotham Girls, Ivy later teamed up with Harley again in another attempt to gain some quick funds. Because of the Big Bang in Dakota, new metahumans had been created, several of whom were uncomfortable with their newfound powers and transformations. Through the internet, the two set up a mock therapy and treatment group and began contacting the Bang Babies. One of their victims, Nails, was a student at Dakota High. Thinking she was heading for help, she discovered she'd been lured into a life of crime. Though they convinced Nails to aid them in their plan, this time pilfering a shipment of gold from a cruiser, Static, who had followed Nails to Gotham, and Batman halted the scheme and captured Harley and Ivy once again. According to Paul Dini, by the time of Batman Beyond Poison Ivy moved to South America and took over the rainforest. Actually, she's now part of the rainforest. We were thinking that she had mutated into some sort of quasi-human slash quasi-plant-based form of life and moved to South America. Abilities and Equipment Poison Ivy has a unique genetic immunity from all forms of poison or toxin, including Joker gas. A side effect of the immunity is that she is incapable of having children. Ivy is a genius chemist. Combined with her botanical background, she frequently concocts plant-based poisons, toxins, and serums designed to kill, transform, or protect, depending on her purpose and needs. Later in her criminal career, Ivy also had the ability to secrete potent pheromones that could make her, or her plant creatures, irresistible to men. In personal combat, Ivy is a skilled gymnast and carries a miniature repeating crossbow on her right wrist, which she typically uses as a last resort, at least against people, since it's also useful for puncturing tires. Powers and Abilities Powers Chlorokinesis Hypnosis Toxic Immunity, Poison Ivy was immune to all poisons, including Joker's gas. Abilities Deception Martial Arts Boxing Jiu-Jitsu Muay Thai Archery, Pamela was fluent with using her wrist-mounted crossbow. Science Botany, Pamela received a degree in botany from Gotham University. Chemistry Genetics 
Toxicology. Seduction. Other characteristics. Obsession. Paraphernalia. Weapons. Wrist-mounted crossbow. If you like this content, don't forget to like and subscribe. See you later, bye-bye.